President Biden spoke on the possibility of a ceasefire in Israel. Watch this. Is the U.S. supporting the hostages for a ceasefire deal? Why did you? We should get to, We should have a ceasefire. It's not a ceasefire. We should have those hostages released, and then we can talk. Any comments on that, Justice President? Okay, Todd Paro with me this morning. Todd, uh, the president says no ceasefire until the hostages are released. What do you say to that? That is not the right response. And the reason it is not the right response has nothing to do with the hostages themselves. This is not about the hostages. This is not about rescuing the hostages, as sad as that may be. Israel is going to wipe Hamas off the face of this earth, regardless of whether or not there are talks with Hamas or not. Israel really doesn't care about talking with Hamas. Every guest that I've had on over the course of the last three weeks has said the time for talk is over. We're going to annihilate them. That said, we, the United States government and the Israeli government, need to move heaven and earth to try and rescue the hostages. Do not misinterpret what I'm saying. But in terms of negotiating tit for tat with Hamas, Israel is not going to do that. And if we keep saying we are not going to interfere with their ability to wage war, then we need to listen to what we say and abide by what we say. Hostage taking is an effective strategy. In this case, it works for the bad guys. For leverage, it absolutely, does. absolutely. But. It's tough to say this because I put myself in the position like if my child or my family sure. member was there, obviously I'd want you to do everything possible. But we've seen over the course of the last couple of years when you negotiate with terrorists with regard to hostage situations, it always works out bad for the country that has to give up something. Uh, I want to turn to the speaker election. Uh, do we have to? I'm afraid we do okay. have to, yes. 67% of voters say that Congress needs to select a speaker as soon as possible. Okay, whoop de doo Didn't we know that? Why can't the Republicans get this done, Todd? Well, I think it's clear is because personal gripes between members are preventing them from doing the job that they were elected to do. The average American is busy with a family, a life, trying to get by on a day-in and day-out basis. They are sick and tired of this circus. I, I hearken back to, like, when you go to a hospital, you're sick, you're really injured. You go to that hospital, you don't want the nurses and doctors fighting, and you're on the sidelines sitting there dying because you can't get help. You don't care if they like each other. You go in there, those nurses and doctors have a job, it's to save your life. These individuals in Washington, they have a job, they were elected by the taxpayers. Do your job, stop the fighting. I'd like to have a word with Matt Gates. Uh, I think really a lot of people would. I'd like to have a word with the guy. It's beyond yeah. partisan others. at this point. He's blown and everything others, up. Though. He got nothing. He's completely lost ground. What a mess. Anyway, that's all I've got to say for that. Uh,